Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds among light heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Good defensive skill with the block by Richards. Defense just covering up down low. Halfway through round number one. up top with a left Bulldogs defense is paying off now Wow look at that trading shots last 10 seconds of this first round You're letting this guy get away. Come on, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You gotta. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Work the body. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Get 
in there. Let's go. Good block by Bulldog. Precision work with the left hand by Richards. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, you need to move your head more, side. Where's your body work? The body. Relax. Relax. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on you. Keep it on. You no need to get excited. You're doing fine. And round number three is underway. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Now he's targeting upstairs. Okay. Halfway through this round. Good block by Richards. That's what I want to see. Face yourself. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Richards is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. There's that overhand right. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Come on, come on. Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Do the jab and then straight down the middle. You got that? Jab, jab, right. Breathe deep, breathe deep. You're in the You need to take it to this guy. Make it a dog fight with him, man. Close the gap and let your hands go. Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy Scorecard has him up three rounds to zip. Off the target by Richards. Keep working the and now just wasting everybody's time holding on. He missed with that headshot. Come on, get up. Keep moving. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Now he ties up there. You're doing great. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Richards is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs.
Bulldog's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Focus. 10 seconds to go in the fourth. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. One. Good work by Richards. There you go. Look at good. Look good. Keep working the jab. Still plenty of time to work here in round number. Bulldogs hit by a right hand. He is stunned there, and now he ties up. He ties up, and he was allowed to tie up, and that's what he's going to be sorry for, the other guy, that he allowed himself to get grabbed. Whoa. Richards is shook up there, Teddy. What a turn of events. Just moments ago, he was the one doing the damage. No other sport shows retribution right in front of you so quickly, so impactfully. Sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Not able to land the uppercut. Richards' defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. You have to try to score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for our audience. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Just keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot. Now listen, you need to keep moving. Now. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Richards. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice. Good way to protect the midsection. Uppercut. Halfway through round six. Keep your body moving. Keep Richards is body. getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Bulldog's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. Keep working 
in the body. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And the round comes to an end. Bulldog's approach to these remaining rounds is going to be critical. I believe, I think you do, that he's trailing on the scorecards, but I also think that he's capable of turning things around. Well, right now it's so close, it's going to come down to the inside, I believe. Whoever does not make those solid agreements, doesn't sign their name to the contract. You know, you get a little tired, it gets a little tough. You put your hands behind the guy, you hope the guy grabs and he goes along with it. Whoever doesn't go along with that, whoever brings their hands back and throws those punches, those two, those three, those four extra punches, they're going to win the fight. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Richards is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Bulldog. At the halfway point of round seven. That's a well-scored left hand by Bulldog. He just missed that shot up top. Hello. Nice strike after catching one by Bulldog. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Bulldog's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this room. Nice work. He can't handle the speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. Keep it up. I need you to cut this guy off. Start moving your hands. One, two, threes. One, two, threes. All right? This has turned out to be a good-looking fight. Teddy, I think it's clear to see that Richards is in control of this fight. He's up on your scorecard, as we can see. But it's been a tough night. Yeah, and it's also clear to see that his opponent has a chance to come back because he has been competitive every bit of the way. That's a good block by Richards. Richards is putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> nice work with the jab by Richards. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Richards. The halfway point of round number eight. Yeah. 
Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Keep moving. Keep moving. Headbutt. Headbutt. Good work defensively by Bulldog. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Right to the head with that right. Last 10 seconds. So he puts forth another punishing display. Richards is dominating this fight from start to finish, and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. now we're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight you get the sense this one may not go the distance hey, 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 let's go. Nice defense. Good block by Richards. Watch the hook. <laughs> Richards' timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Oh. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. And he engages in the clinch. Let's jump on it. Pace yourself. Forceful uppercut by Richards. He missed by a... That's a big right hand. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy. He's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now... They can't relax, concentrate relax, just on okay, telling them things, okay. and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. He's going to come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Nice block by Richards. Punch! Punch! Just like that. Yeah, give him a warning. Bulldog's blocking ability is doing well for him there. There you go. Not able to land the headshot. Bulldog's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. 
he has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. Halfway through round 10. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Richards. And now he scores with that left to the body. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Hook upstairs. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. A stabbing right hand by Richards. Three minutes gone by in this round. Still in there, you know. You still want this? Come on, take it to him. Take it to him now. He's doing everything in there, and you got to land some of that power. I'm going to throw that away. Richards is in control of this fight because he wrestled it away from his opponent a few rounds ago. He just has been putting round after round after round onto his ledger of the scorecard. That's a good point, Joe. And I think what happened a few rounds ago is he broke the spirit of his opponent. talking about getting into the kitchen. He went in there and he tore apart that kitchen. He has reached that point in the fight where his only chance is to cash in and hit Lotto here. He needs that grand slam, that big knockout punch, doesn't he? Yeah, and he doesn't have a pen in his hand where he can fill out the numbers, but he does have a couple fists. And what he's gonna have to do is find a specific place to aim a shot. Look for one moment, one spot. Miss nice. that uppercut. Yeah. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Bulldog. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. At this point, I'd start to question what happened in training camp. Bulldog's got nothing left in the tank. Now, I would question that too. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind is that they were expecting a knockout. So they trained for a short fight. And guess what? They're sorry. Richards' corner has given him the big thumbs up between rounds here. They know that he's in control of this fight. And they know he earned it. His conditioning's been outstanding. Well, it's shown right there. But also his technique is great. That's a big part of it, too. His intelligence. He's doing really smart things in there and making the other guy look silly. This is it. This is all we got. One more round. Just give it all you got now, okay? You just... Here you go. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Sound defense. Good block that time by Richards. Back to the body. Back to the body. Bulldogs maxed by a left hand. Now, this is a byproduct of his energy level being low. 
He's desperate, so he ties up his opponent. Well, this is part of being a fighter. This is part of being a pro in anything you do. There's times where it's all going your way. There's times where you got to make it go your way. You got to make an adjustment. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Look at that. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. Gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Nice. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Bulldog. He's tired. Hook. Hook. Bulldog scored upon by a left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. The ref stops the fight. Richards, his corner, is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.